All right, so we're going to do a couple more examples with double integrals, and these are going to be ones where it's necessary to reverse um, the order of integration, right? So both of these are set up so that we integrate first with respect to y and then x. We're going to switch that around so we do the y integral first. Uh, now, there's a couple of reasons why you might need to do this. Um, in the last video, we saw that sometimes, you know, describing the region with respect to one variable is simpler than the other, right? So the region might play a role. Um, sometimes it's the function. You can see here that if we have any hope of, of evaluating this thing by hand, we're not going to be able to do the y integral first because, well, what's, the, what's an antiderivative for sine of y cubed, right? There isn't, there isn't a simple one that we can write down. Um, in fact, there isn't going to be one in terms of, of elementary functions. But here, you know, the antiderivatives are, antiderivatives are easy for this function. Um, actually, we can do this thing as is. It's not going to be hard. Um, but the other reason that you might sometimes need to change the order is you might be dealing with a region like we saw where it's, maybe it's a trapezoid or something where um, if, you're, if you're using, let's say you're doing the y variable first and then x, well, maybe, maybe the region isn't actually a type 2 region or a type 1 region, right, where you can do that y integral first. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's type 2. Um, and so you want to do it in the other order. Um, both of these, of course, are type 3. We can, we can do whichever order we want. Um, so there are a number of scenarios where you might need to reverse the order. Uh, these examples are, are more or less just going through what is the process. How do you reverse that order? Well, um, number one step in reversing the order of integration is you've got to draw the region. Okay? So in this one, x starts at 0 and it goes to 1. Uh, what about y? Well, y maxes out at 4. The lower bound for y is 4x. So what we need to do is we need to draw on this line. Okay? So there's the line y equals 4x. Okay? Now, you can probably see that, well, okay, there's this rectangle here. And the line y equals 4x is going to divide that rectangle into two triangles. Which triangle are we taking? Well, these limits, what these limits say is that, you know, 4x is the lower limit for y, right? y starts at 4x, goes up to 4. So starts at 4x, goes up to 4. That means that, that this is our region here, right? It's the region above the line, okay? And one way that you, want to, you might even want to think about this is think about drawing these lines, right? So as we've got it, we start here, right? So for a given, for a given x value, we start at 4x, we end at 4, 4x to 4, okay? Now, what if you were going the other way? What if you wanted to fix a y value and move horizontally, right? What are the range of x values? Well, x starts here at 0, and it ends on the line, right? So we have 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to... Ah, well, now, I've written down the equation of the line. I've, I've written y as a function of x, but I need x in terms of y. So x in terms of y, well, I just divide both sides by 4, right? 1 quarter y. So, so x goes from 0 to 1 quarter y, right? And we do that for each y value starting at 0 and ending at 4. Okay, So that's most of the work, is just figuring out how do I take the region that was given to me and describe it um, where I, I, you know, previously it was given to me this way, right? That, that 4x less than or equal to y less than or equal to 4 with x between 0 and 1. So where I've kind of, you know, x and y play opposite roles. How do I switch the roles? How do I write the inequalities the other way? And generally, this involves drawing the region and then just thinking about how do you fit these line segments in. So with that in mind, we have the following. Okay. All right. So x goes from 0 to 1 quarter y, and we do that for each y value between 0 and 4. 
And now if you wanted to finish off, well, we just do the antiderivative as usual. So 0 to 4. Um, we do the x derivative. So the antiderivative uh, of 2x is x squared. x squared times y going from x equals 0 to x equals 1 quarter y. Be careful that you're plugging those in for the right variable. All right. So let's see. The lower limit gives me nothing. The upper limit, um, 1 quarter y goes in for x squared. So 1 quarter squared, uh, 1 over 16 y squared times y. So 1 over 16 y cubed. Okay, and now it's the calc 1 integral. We know what to do. y to the fourth over 4 from 0 to 4. So 4 to the 4 over 64 is ah, 4. How about that? Okay, and we're done. All right. Um, you know what, let's pause here. We'll do the other one as a separate video. We're already at about the six minute mark. Um, that's long enough for one video.